All right, welcome back, guys. Um, it's been a long time since I was able to get in front of the camera, do some rig reviews, get some footage going, the truck's running. Um, I kind of actually had a major setback as far as uh, keeping up with the channel. All of my uh, equipment was actually stolen from my truck, so that was a huge bummer. I lost my gimbal, my Sure mic, and my tripod stands, and just all my other gear that I used to, to do this type of stuff. Um, I finally was able to replace the mic and some of the tripod stuff, and I wanted to get back on here, fill you in on what's going on with things, and uh, just talk to you about a bunch of different topics. I also want to give away the RC four wheel drive Tacoma body as well. Um, I figured I'd let that run its course, and I think now is a good time, kind of ending the season, and people are going to be building now with the winter approaching, so I figured... Now would be the time to pick a winner for that, and uh, we'll go forward with that as well. So stick around for that. I'm going to use like a random number generator, and uh, we'll pick a winner for that. And uh, someone's going to get themselves a brand new RC four-wheel drive Tacoma body set, which uh, I think is pretty sweet. Uh, first and foremost, if you're coming to the channel because you happen to see this October 2018 edition um, issue of um, RC Car Action, uh, it was pretty cool. I worked with one of their editors, Matt, um, and we did a full review of um, kind of how I got into the hobby, the collection, and uh, some of my projects and uh, builds that I've done over the years, and uh, talked a little bit about the channel. So if you're making your way over from seeing this in RC Car Action, thanks. Welcome. Uh, I hope you guys like uh, what you're seeing, and uh, this is stuff I'm going to continue to work on. Um, between the last video, which I believe was my Axial Fest video, and now, I've actually acquired a bunch of new stuff, uh, so I'm pretty stoked about uh, to tell you guys about some of these new vehicles that I've obtained. Uh, first and foremost is going to be this MRP High Roller here. Um, I previously owned High Rollers, and when I was doing stuff with my Subaru and going through some tough times with the car, I ended up selling the uh, High Rollers I had uh, to fund the car. Uh, I regretted it ever since then. And uh, my close buddy and friend, Dan Wyatt, uh, has been partnering with some of the stuff from his private collection. And he asked me if I was interested in buying his mint high roller that he had. The nice thing about Dan's truck is, is that it is an absolute pristine example of the truck. You will not find a more mint high roller than what is sitting right here. The paint is great. The tub is mint. The tires are not dry rotted or cracked. And believe it or not, the transmission gears are all intact. So what that meant was, naturally, this thing was going to get floated. So I tossed in some electronics, and I brought it over to the pool by my mother's house. And uh, one, it definitely floats. Two, there's nothing quite like, you know, reliving that childhood dream of, you know, reading the old RC car action magazines and stuff and seeing the truck have floated. Um, so that was kind of like a priceless moment. Um, however, I did shoot some video footage for that. I, I have video of that from before the, the equipment was taken. However, it's kind of like watching the U-Log burn. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys some of that. But um, yeah, not it's, it's not as exciting as you'd think. But in terms of uh, just cool monster trucks and showing my roots and, um, you know, again, resorting back to things that I grew up reading that I thought were awesome, uh, the MRP High Roller here, this is really... It's like one of the OGs of, of, of monster trucks. It was absolutely terrible. Um, and it obviously was not nearly, or I wouldn't even really consider it a success at all in comparison to things even like the Kyoshi USA One, which in my opinion isn't really a huge success or wasn't. Uh, but it definitely did not have the following that the, uh, the Claude Buster had or anything like that. And at this point now, it's really only something that like a true collector um, is going to be interested in. Um, the parts are super hard to obtain. They're very scarce. Um, and overall, as far as using it, it's really not very usable. It doesn't steer well. It doesn't really run well. But it's a must-have when you're, when you're you know, talking about vintage collections. And, uh, you know, having a nice example like this is, is really cool. Um, I also obtained a bunch of trucks from uh, Pardon My Noob from Rich, which is a good friend of mine. As you guys know, I, have, I own several Rich's um, vehicles and things like that, and uh, he was part with some of his trucks. So uh, I'll give you guys a sneak peek at what I've picked up from him. And uh, I also picked up this Bruiser here. This was a real nice example. It has a 
badass paint job. It's like that chrome illusion uh, paint, pretty sweet flame job on it. Um, IMAX uh, G-Hog tires and the chassis and everything's painted up nice. Uh, real nice example, I got some really nice aluminum wheels for it, some uh, original Jugster um, M. Thompson style wheels for it on uh, the Jugster pattern. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna piece together the rest of this. And uh, yeah, and then the other big thing is, um, I actually purchased, I sold my Subaru, and I purchased a new uh, car. Uh, it's a 1993 Nissan Skyline GTST. Uh, just a two liter, right hand drive, five speed turbo. Um, it's a car that I've always wanted, and um, I kind of started rolling around the idea of parting my Subaru, and uh, I found a buyer for it, I sold it, and I, found this GTST and I jumped on the opportunity to uh, pick that up. So that was kind of, uh, you know, for me, that was a good uh, move. It, it's a, it's just a fun car. The right hand drive is fun. And uh, yeah, been kind of tinkering with that. However, it's getting colder out here. I have on the workbench right now, the Twisted Dorothy truck. Um, and I'm trying to get that ready to go for the Ultimate Scout Truck Expo, which is going to be quickly approaching. Um, if you guys have not been to that event, it's a must attend. It's like the SEMA of tiny, tru tiny trucks. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, do the giveaway for the Tacoma body. And um, that'll be that. All right, guys. Got the uh, random.org uh, here for the number generator up. And... Uh, the video, uh, which I originally mentioned, had the uh, giveaway for the RC four-wheel drive Tacoma body set here, um, was uh, one of my quad busters, and um, I kind of did this to thank everyone for tuning in and watching, and uh, for the support, um, we've had a real good time uh, doing these videos, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well, and this was my way to, uh, you know, give back to the community. Um, as a lot of you guys know from watching and uh, reading uh, about my story, um, you know my first hobby grade truck was uh, given to me uh, by my stepfather. So why not uh, give back to the community that's uh, you know been great to me over all these years? So on that video, I left the rules really loose. Um, there really wasn't any um, you know restrictions as far as um, you know how many times you could post or enter. Um, so on that video. We had uh, 40 comments, so I got 40 in there, and uh, we're going to generate uh, the results now. We'll give this body set away. Okay, so I went down the list, starting from the first comment down, and uh, here we go. So the result, in case you guys can't see it, is number 26. All right, so uh, hang on a second here to this new uh, tripod so we'll go back to the video here and it was on this video here all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 is Jason M. Uh, Jason has posted, when you get to 10K, you should give do a giveaway on the quad. Don't be cheap. Uh, sorry, Jason. The quad's not ever getting given away, but uh, you won yourself uh, an RC4 drive to come a body set. I'll uh, see how I can get in touch with you through uh, YouTube here, and uh, I'll get that shipped out to you. Uh, thanks, everyone, for entering. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do this again in the future with something else. Again, uh, I appreciate everyone who tunes in and watches, and uh, if you haven't already, please head over to uh, Instagram, uh, like Mike's RC World, and also over on Facebook um, on my page there. Uh, it's the same, Mike's RC World, and uh, keep tuning in. Um, the winter's coming. I plan on pumping out a bunch of more videos and uh, also doing a lot more rig reviews and uh, whatever else we could uh, do to keep things uh, interesting. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.